If the objective of fighting a careful war is impossible, then every day these soldiers are asked to do the impossible. Every time you leave a patrol base to go on patrol, it's, it's always going through your head, yeah, is this the last, last time I'm going to walk on two feet? Am I going to be able to go home in eight months' time and see my family? You can't worry about them on patrol. You can't, you, you're most likely not going to see them because they're underground, they're really well hidden. They're not out there for you to see. And, but after I got hit, there was a, it was, it was a greater fear. In Afghanistan, the Taliban's preferred weapon is the IED, or improvised explosive device. All I remember from the uh, incident was, it was like being tackled by about 10 Pacific Islanders at once. I was knocked cold, um, landed on my uh, face. Next thing I know, I was on my guts and ears ringing and people screaming and I sort of, sort of didn't know what happened at first and then I looked back and the area that I'd been kneeling on was now just a crater so that's when I realised that night they'd just gone off pretty much half a metre behind me and can't really explain why I'm still here. Last month was the worst of Australia's almost decade-long engagement in Afghanistan. Two of the five victims of this complex battlefront Sappers Jacob Morland and Darren Smith, along with Smitty's dog Herbie, belong to mentoring Team Alpha. Four Corners joined the team before they deployed and was with Alpha Company on its blackest day. Now, these guys are, are shot at, blown up daily, um, every couple of days, and the biggest thing is to get back on the horse and get back out there, and that is uh, a massive credit to them. After the best part of a decade and a rapidly increasing list of dead and injured, is Australia's costly engagement in Afghanistan making a difference? This effort, this toil, these deaths and injuries are producing change, and it's producing change at the grassroots level. Tonight on Four Corners, the first of two ground level reports delivering perspectives from the soldiers who are fighting and the people they're fighting for.